I want to thank the gentleman for yielding, and I'd like to thank uh, Ranking Member Grijalva and Chairman Bishop uh, and their staffs uh, for working to bring this uh, bill through the committee and to the floor today. I'd also like to thank my good friend, Congressman Courtney of Connecticut, uh, who has been an outstanding partner in this effort, and uh, all those back in Rhode Island who have worked to bring uh, this bill to fruition, including the Woodpocketuck Watershed Association, Save the Bay, the, Natur the Nature Conservancy, the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management, and the Connecticut Department, Department of Environmental uh, Protection. Mr. Speaker, the Woodpocketuck Act proposes a study of segments of the Beaver, Chapuxet, uh, Queen, Wood, and Patuxent Rivers in Rhode Island and Connecticut, for potential addition to the uh, National Wild and Scenic River System. Now, Rhode Island and Connecticut have long been outstanding stewards of these rivers, and I hope passage and completion of this study will affirm what we who live near these rivers already know, that the, they possess outstanding recreational, natural, and historical qualities that make them worthy of the designation of wild and scenic rivers. Now, as a nation, we are privileged to have access to a diverse system of wilderness areas, not only in the remote expanses of our country, but also close to home. In our backyard wilderness, the, uh, the rivers of the Woodpocketuck watershed are within a 45-minute drive for every Rhode Islander, easily accessible for family outings and school field trips. Now, the, the people of Rhode Island and Connecticut have long enjoyed the recreational and scenic wealth of the Woodpocketuck, and we are eager to share this natural treasure with uh, the rest of New England and the nation. Now, these rivers are not only an important part of our national heritage, they are a critical part of our economy, which relies on the health of our waters. Now, the Woodpocketuck watershed offers diverse destinations for tourism, a vital industry to Rhode Island and Connecticut. And these rivers offer exceptional trout fishing, canoeing, photography, and bird watching opportunities with adjacent hiking and, and camping for our sportsmen. Accordingly, the study will not only review the, the special character of the river, but will fully engage with local government, landowners, and businesses to recognize uh, the existing commercial and recreational activities on or adjacent uh, to the watershed. So with that, Mr. Speaker, the, the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act offers the best guarantee that the Woodpocketuck will be here for future generations to enjoy. Passage of this study is an important first step along that path. The rivers of the Woodpocketuck watershed contain recreational, scenic, and natural heritage qualities uh, that would be an excellent addition to the National Wild and Scenic River System, and I urge my colleagues to support the passage of this bill. Again, I want to thank the members of the committee, especially the chair and the ranking member, uh, for bringing the, uh, the bill to the floor, and I thank uh, uh, Mr. Hastings and, uh, and also uh, Mr. Sublon for uh, their uh, uh, assistance with this as well. And with that, uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back his time.